Learn from an attorney what the ugly truth is behind bullying and how to deal with it best. Kids, get your parents. They need to see this. Hi, I'm Stacy Storino, an attorney since 1998, certified life coach since 2015, and the leader in legal coaching that turns people into effective advocates for themselves and their loved ones when they're bullied, special needs, or both. Woman 101 stands for wisdom that turns victims into victors. Now, let's get down to what the ugly truth is behind bullying and how to deal with it best when you're confronted by it. Stay tuned until the end of the video so that you can learn about a method to stop bullies after all else fails. Yep, there is a method. I'll say up front that I've done a video about how bullies are made and not just simply born. So if you haven't seen that one yet, check it out. It lays down a nice foundation for the points I'm making here. I've also done a video about the four factors that will determine who will be more likely to be a victim of school-based bullying. So if you haven't watched that video yet, don't miss it. Anyway, researchers have found that children use bullying to demonstrate to their peer group that they are able to dominate or be socially superior to others. They'll practically make it blood sport to show off their dominance over another student. So bullying becomes a social event where the dominance of a bully is put on display for an audience, typically on school grounds. In fact, according to the Handbook of Bullying in Schools, an international perspective, even though a vast majority of students admitted that they found it unpleasant to report bullying, the vast majority of bullying episodes have have been an audience. In fact, different studies revealed that 90% of observed cases, a bully was playing to an audience. Is that ugly or what? You know what's uglier? Kids who sit on the sidelines, too afraid to get involved, who will watch the show but do nothing about it. Even uglier still are the educators who feel that bullying is inevitable or just another part of growing up. So they, as responsible adults, with the power to have the most impact, many times do nothing. Study after study shows the teacher behavior is key. It's the most critical element in addressing bullying. In fact, lack of teacher buy-in and understanding is the most biggest barrier to successful implementation of an anti-bullying program in school systems. It's it's also the case that teachers often fail to even notice most bullying. It's been found that 160,000 students miss school every day because of some form of harassment and bullying. Plus, 280,000 students are physically attacked in secondary schools every month. And while teachers are only found to intervene in 14% of the bullying incidents, 70% of all teachers polled routinely say that they should always intervene whenever bullying is around. Seriously, which is it? Am I right? But this doesn't mean that no teachers care or that none of them will do anything at any point in time. For those who don't, victims need to learn that if one adult doesn't listen to them and help them, they should have to keep telling other adults until someone does. Keep telling faculty, staff, administrators, including principals, and certainly tell your parents. Report it to the police too, especially if there's been physical violence or sexual abuse. Parents must report all troublesome incidents in writing to the principal and the teacher at issue both via paper and electronically, with methods to prove receipt of the communications. Incidents of harassment from school staff, no matter who they are, should be reported in writing to all of the above, plus the superintendent and school board. Trust me, at some point this all stops. Do not give up. 
Gaining a support system that exists both on the school campus and off of it can keep a bullied kid safer. And when all else fails, it's time to call in the cavalry, meaning having at least one adult who can serve as your advocate with the school system and if need be, the police and the court system. You can't ignore bullying. It won't go away. Every study and survey shows that avoidance has no upside when it comes to bullying. And I've got a system called the enemy remedy that can help you or the ones who love you out big time. So make sure you check out the link down below in this video show notes for more details. I would love to hear from you. Have you ever seen a bully put on a show for an audience and what did you do when that happened? Or have you ever had a teacher know about bullying but do nothing? Share down below and let's have all of the Woman 101 Wise Owls love up on you and give you support. And if you like this content, please remember to support me on Patreon so I can keep providing new material on a regular basis to help victims of bullying everywhere. Remember, Woman 101 stands for wisdom, turning victims into victors. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and like this video and share this with anyone you know who could use some support. Woman 101, be wise with your heart.